everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome so on today's video I want to show you guys how I actually transform my furniture um, I always get questions over on my Instagram what is all that I use and how you know I transform my furniture so obviously I have this beautiful hutch that I found on Facebook marketplace a farmhouse distressed look so i am going to show y'all what i uh, usually use so this is the chalk paint that i am using and this is actually the first time that i am using wax but um i was reading really good reviews about it so i guess we all find out how it's gonna look with this on there and then this is the brush and then I don't know if you guys can tell but it does have like a glossy uh, stain onto it right now so what I want to do is I want to sand it down so I'm using the 150 grit and I'm just gonna sand it slightly um, to kind of take all that off and then after I do that then I'll clean the dust off and then get to painting so if you want to see how I transform this hutch, just keep on watching. Okay, so here I just have an old towel. I damped it a little bit and I'm gonna use this to basically wipe off all the dust and all the residue that was left behind from whenever I was sanding it down. You, this is a very important step. You really wanna consider doing this because whenever you are painting, you actually want your paint to go on smoothly. You don't want none of those uh, dust particles all in your furniture. Now that I do have everything clean, all I am going to do now is grab my paintbrush and just start painting away.
here you see me painting over my hardware. I really have no problem with it because since I was going to change out the hardware on it, so that really wasn't a problem for me. But if you are not changing hardware onto your furniture, make sure you just tape it down. That way you don't paint it unless you do want to paint, you know, the hardware white as well. where you know furniture gets beat up the most so all the corners and stuff like that that's basically where I was focusing on the most hey everyone so it is currently the next day and I just wanted to show y'all some progress um, I already did distress it at least this part um, I still have to paint a little bit more so of course I still have to paint those and then I did this but I also still have to paint the bottom um, but I want to set this one on top already so then to be able to do that basically what I'm gonna do is use the wax and start waxing it so let's do that Okay, you guys so I am finally done and this is how it turned out and then I had my gather sign so I just put it up there but yes so you see it's not hard at all it's very simple I think what we always just have to keep in mind is that like I had said, it is farmhouse. It is not perfect at all whatsoever. And I mean, you know, if there's a piece of furniture that you want to give it a different look, just go for it. 
but you guys did see so um everything that i did use the wax i want to say that i did love it and i will now be purchasing it whenever i run out for furniture but overall i do recommend the wax so yes guys so thank you again for uh, tuning in and watching another of my videos. I really hope you guys enjoyed if you did please give it a thumbs up Also, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye